What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Seton Hall versus Providence. College basketball matchup going down Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at PickDogs.com by clicking the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also got something I'm really excited for. Something that's coming up, brand new program. Been asked for it a lot and been um, asked about it a lot. Uh, it's only for my bigger players, guys and girls that are betting $500 or more per game on college hoops this season, but it's my college basketball full court press. This pass will get you my top rated plays as well as the rating of my plays in general. You're going to get overnight plays to try to get yourself some closing line value, um, late breaking information plays as well throughout the day. So you're going to get the your best, best of both worlds, the overnight plays to try to jump on the early lines, late breaking info plays that, that you get throughout the day based on news that's released Um and as money pours in and the lines percolate throughout the day. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, you meet that criteria, text the number in the description of this video below and we'll get you more information. But let's get to this one between Seton Hall and Providence. And they got a big East matchup to uh, to kick things off on Wednesday. And you've got the Seton Hall Pirates coming into this one with a record of 13-6 and six on the year after a 97-94 triple overtime loss at the hands of Creighton in their last matchup while uh, Providence coming in 12-6 and six on the year after a 162 victory over DePaul. Um, and, you know, Providence had done well in the non-conference portion of their schedule, winning games at home and beating up on teams. But the problem is, is that you can beat DePaul on the road all you want. The reality is DePaul, one of the worst power conference teams in the country, if not the worst. And, I mean, so much so they just fired their head coach. And, you know, you look at Providence on the road outside of that, losses to Oklahoma, uh, Creighton, St. John's as well. So Providence, you know, they're competitive in a couple of spots, but they've really had trouble translating their success from home to the road. And, you know, it just makes it really hard to get behind them in a spot like that. I mean, on the other side of the coin, you've got Seton Hall coming in. Um, and you look at what Seton Hall's done in conference play. This Seton Hall team has sort of flipped the switch. I mean, normally Seton Hall known for playing good defense, but now it's been good offense. It has been the case in the, in Big East play for the Pirates. Fourth in offensive efficiency. First in offensive rebounding percentage, so creating a lot of second chances. Um, second in three-point shooting. Second in free throw shooting. And the difference for me in this game and why I'm backing Seton Hall is because, A, Seton Hall, like I said, second in three-point shooting going up against the Providence defense. That's eighth in the Big East um, in three-point defense in conference play. But the big thing that stands out for me, Providence can do a great job of getting to the free throw line. They actually lead the uh, Big East in free throw rate on offense, but they are the worst free throw shooting team in the conference. So you can get to the foul line all you want, but you're not making your free throws. In what I figure to be a tight game between Seton Hall and Providence, I want the team that's going to make their free throws. And side by side, it's not even close. Seton Hall, second in the Big East in conference play, shooting 80.3% from the foul line, while Providence shooting 64.6%. That's almost a 16% uh, advantage at the free throw line for Seton Hall. i got to take the Pirates in this one. I think they do enough to get the job done. So give me Seton Hall. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.